Hello, welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. Today I want to talk about um, file conversion uh, using SolarWorks. So SolarWorks allows us to um, convert <coughs> uh, SolarWorks part file or assembly files into um, universal part files, for example, uh, Parasolid, STEP files, and IGES files. Um, so first, I want to talk about this because uh, we do get asked this question um, a fair bit as to how to import and export and uh, different configuration that we can set to. First, let's talk about STEP files as that's uh, more widely used. So here we've got two different types of STEP files. Um, now AP203, <coughs> it's the general STEP format. It defines the geometry, topology, and, <coughs> and configuration, management data of solid models for mechanical parts and assembly. And whereas the STEP AP214 includes everything that AP203 has, but it's also got the addition of colors, layers, uh, geometric dimensioning, tolerance, and design intake. So depending on the need, <coughs> uh, you can choose to use AP214 if needed. Um, let's talk about uh, exporting as uh, I IGS format. So with IGS format, you can uh, go into the option and you have a few um, export options. Uh, one that you should keep in mind of and take notes of is um, this one. Save all components of an assembly in one file. So if you click that, for example, for our cabinet here, it will save uh, the cabinet itself and the door itself, which was two parts in SolarWorks, into one file. Um, the downside, the, the, the bad part about this is that uh, you will not be able to move the door as we can see from here um, if you have it in this position and you export it as the IGS file that way this door will stay at this position and you cannot modify it further uh, if you wish to save it in separate files you would then have the cabinet and the door itself and you could possibly um, put relations between them so let's talk about why why we would need to save um, our SolarWorks file into um, other formats. Uh, for example, if you're a designer and you're trying to show a um, potential customer what your work are, and you don't want to show them all the features um, in your drawings, you could then export your um, model or assembly into a part file uh, and in here, geometry to save, there are three different options that you can choose from. Exterior faces, which is just a surface. Um, you're just saving as a surface, for example, a cabinet, everything would be a surface, and inside would, would not be a solid. Or you can save as exterior components, so everything on the outside will be saved, or all components. Exterior components are generally um, more widely used, so let's do that. Once we have that, uh, you'll be prone to ask if you want to proceed with feature recognition. That's generally uh, something that will pop up when you try to import or open up another uh, different type of SolarWorks file. Just click no. Note that we cannot move the door when you save it as a part file. So this is saved as solid bodies but multi bodies. Um, hence it, it thinks that it's fixed at this position and would not allow us to rotate it like we would uh, be able to in an assembly. So once you've got it as a part file you can then export it as a um, step file or IGS files or parasolid files. Um, the reason for doing the extra step in the uh, saving as a part file is just to uh, minimize the details in your model. So if you don't mind about 
um, or you do want to um, pass on as much details as possible with uh, your model, you would have you can you can skip this step. So you can just go on and convert it into a um, step file. Choose any options that you wish to. Okay. So we open up a step file. Very briefly, just now, it was um, recognizing all the uh, uh, parts and surface and all that. Sometimes with very complex uh, models, that process might take a while. And if you try to um, move the window or do anything with SolarWorks during that time, SolarWorks will freeze. So if you know that you're opening up a big and complex step file, let SolarWorks do the conversion for a little bit and just let it run without interrupting it. If it's was still loading after 10 minutes, then obviously something's wrong and it's not, um, it, it cannot generate the surface or the solid properly. Uh, but generally, yeah, give it a bit of time to, to run. You can also run import diagnostic uh, on stat files, which helps you fix any of the gaps or faces um, that might be a problem. So let's go attempt to heal all. And yeah, I'm not going to go with feature recognition. Um, but yeah, so yeah, here's just a few quick uh, tips on uh, file conversion using SolarWorks. Uh, hope you find this useful. Um, thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS.